Oh, snap. It's another snap review from the family gamers. I love word games. I like to think that I'm a pretty clever clue giver. Maybe you'll have to ask any true about that sometime. And I felt like to think that if I had just one chance, just one chance, I could be both lucky and clever. This is a snap review for So Clover. This is the next cooperative puzzle game from Repost Productions, makers of the award-winning Just One. So Clover supports three to six players, ages 10 plus, and a game takes about 10 to 30 minutes, depending on your player count. Art is an easy conversation in this game. There really isn't that much art. I mean, you have these clover boards that look like this, and you have some square cards that look like this. In So Clover, everyone takes, like I said, one of these clover boards. Then you take four of these square word cards. You put one of them in each section, and they, they hold on pretty well, right? Uh, and you end up with something that looks kind of like this. So once you've put one of these four cards in here, you can see a little bit of what I've done, okay? It's time for everybody to get to work. Take your dry erase marker, and you're going to come up with some clues. You have to relate your words together. In this case, I have cup and fair. And I've got to figure out a way to make cup and fair work together. And for me, I chose the word world because you have the world cup and, of course, world fairs. In this case, I didn't really relate the words, but I came up with a word that was kind of related to both of them. So once you finish writing four clues on this, you're going to flip your clover so all four of those cards <coughs> fall out. Then you're going to take these four cards, you're going to add another one from the stack and shuffle them together. Once everybody has finished, everybody takes turns flipping their clover over, now with no cards on it but with four clues, and providing those five cards face up for everybody to try to guess how all of those things go together. If you get it right on the first try, you get six points, one point for each clue you got correct, and two points for getting it right away. If you get any of them wrong, whoever it was that wrote those clues down can't say anything. They just take off the cards that you got wrong. Everybody gets one more chance to try to fix those guesses, and after that one, you get one point for each correct card that you got. Remember, you're all working together. Well, what did I expect from this game? Like I said, this is Repost Productions. Just One was a Spiel de Jar winner because it's incredibly fun, it's light, and it's easy to understand. So I expected more of the same from this. And to be honest, the theme for the game is right on the front. Link all the clues together. It says it right there. And the steps are right on the back. So I felt like I had a pretty good idea how the game was going to go. So did anything surprise me about this? Well, what I didn't expect, because the back doesn't really tell you, is that everyone is doing all of their steps at the same time. This is great, especially for a family game, because it means almost zero downtime. Now, there's a lot of similarities between a game like this and a game like, say, Code Names, because it's all about word association. But with this game, the teach is like two minutes long. It's super fast. And it's also really, really hard, by the way, to keep a straight face while everyone is talking about your clues and trying to figure out how to put them together. I do think that Just One is probably a better restaurant game because there's a lot of these little cards, like a lot of these little cards, and it could be pretty easy to lose track of those. But in any other setting, So Clover has my vote. It's just the perfect combination of quick teaching, simultaneous play, large group support, and just enough brain burning to still be engaging as a party game, which I love. And sometimes you see some clues that are just genuinely super clever. But I will say one thing. I'd love to have a score scale. There is nothing in this game that says, hey, if you as a group achieve a certain level, then you're super genius or whatever. There's literally nothing in the box. And I kind of wish there was one here so that we had you know, scores to try to achieve or, or push for or something like that. But honestly, that's my only complaint about So Clover for Repos Productions. So I, I just love this game. And for all of the reasons that I listed before, I think we're actually gonna rate So Clover four and a half four leaf clovers out of five. And that's So Clover in a snap.